Hello everyone, I'm really excited to teach you our newest lesson for this week. It is officially spring and so we are going to be learning how to draw um, a garden. But we are going to be drawing the bottom part of the garden that is in the soil down here and the tops of the plants that we can see from above up here. All you need to get started is a pencil today and something to color with. I chose colored pencils, but it is entirely up to you what you like to color with. The first thing we're gonna do is make sure our paper is vertical. Once your paper is vertical, we're gonna draw a horizon line right across. This is going to mean this part is above ground, this part is below ground, okay? I think I want my picture to be full of beets and carrots today. So I'm going to draw all of the vegetables that are growing in the dirt below this line. So I'm going to draw a carrot on this side, but not the green part because that's above the ground. Then I'm going to draw maybe a beet like this. Ooh, that's going to be a big beet. It has this long part. And then maybe two more carrots on this side. Remember, sometimes carrots are bumpy. You have a little string at the bottom. I want to fill up as much as my paper as possible. Okay, we can add some of our carrot details. These little lines on our carrots. And then beets also have those same sort of lines. Growing, getting bigger in the dirt. Okay, now we need to draw all of the leaves that are on top of our plants. So carrots, they have like leaves that come out. You can make them big and tall. This is your drawing, remember, so yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine. I'm going to have my beet leaves come like this. I don't like that line. Remember, you can always revise by changing your lines. This carrot, I want my carrot top to come up like this. This one's gonna have some tall leaves. And this one too, I want the top to come up. Oops. Like this. So we're gonna sketch it out because next step is we are going to start coloring it in. I want you to start thinking about what you might want to put in your sky. Maybe you want there to be a sun. Maybe we can make a graphic sun by drawing part of a circle that goes off of it. And then maybe we can add some long sun rays that are helping all of our plants grow through photosynthesis. Getting all that sun energy like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay, done with our pencil. We are done drawing. Now we just need to color it in. So I'm going to work on layering colors as I color my carrots today. So my carrots are mostly going to be orange. We're going to really focus on our craftsmanship. See how I'm coloring all the same direction so it doesn't look messy. And if you want to have your vegetables really pop, you can do a dark outline with your colored pencil. Like that. Then, maybe with another color, you're going to Come in, maybe add these detail lines with another color. And then we can shade a little bit to add some extra color into our beautiful carrots we just drew. Just like that. So a beet is mostly red and purple. So I'm going to do this red first. I'm 
and I want to show that my beat is curved, so I'm going to do a curved line as I color. Again, working on my craftsmanship so it's all going the same direction. All right, beets also have a little bit of purple in them, so I'm going to add some purple shading to my beet. And remember, when you're shading, you're gonna do a light coat on top of the color you already put down. So I'm touching it very lightly, like a whisper, very, very lightly touching it, so it will blend my colors together. You guys are going to be professional artists. Look at you. Like that. Okay. I'm going to finish my last two carrots real quick. Okay. Now we are ready for our leaves. So, I think I want mine to be really a dark outline on most of these. And then I'll fill them in with a brighter green. Okay, so now that that is done, let's use our brown. We are going to use our brown to make our horizon line really stand out. So make sure it's really bold. And then we're going to do a little bit more color mixing today. I want us, instead of just coloring this whole thing brown, let's make it a little bit more interesting. So maybe we'll make some rock sort of shapes. To represent like big chunks of dirt. These are organic shapes. They don't have to be any specific shape. Up to you. We just want to fill in some of this space so it's not just like a big boring blob down here. We want it to look interesting. So now our ground already looks even more interesting. For this part, I just want you to gently shade brown all over the shapes we just created. Okay. Now we're going to go back in with another color. Maybe I want mine to be light green mixed in a little bit. So inside all of these little squiggle lines. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of green on top to add some visual detail. Okay, once we're there, all we have left to do is our sun and our sky. For our sun, I am going to do the same color mixing thing. I am going to trace my sun in bright yellow, color it all the way in first, I want my sun to be really bright, so I'm going to push pretty hard up here. And the same thing for my sun rays. Alright, now that my sun's there, I'm going to use just regular orange and outline my rays. Color up, color up some of those pencil lines that are on there. Trace the outside of my sun with orange. I made a little mistake, so I'm just going to make it a thicker line. And just like that, you are done. If you wanted, you could color in your skylight blue all the way, but you don't have to. That's up to you. All 
All right, everyone, that is the best way to finish your lovely spring garden picture. I hope you enjoyed making this as much as I did, and I can't wait to see you next week. Enjoy. Make sure you eat some vegetables.